Hey everyone, it's Ashpreet and today let's hack on completely local agents and test them with the agent UI. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video, completely raw, the good, bad and the ugly, uh, where we'll run our agents uh, with the Llama. They'll use a local Llama 3.2 model, uh, 8 billion parameter. It's not as good, uh, you know, spoiler alert. It'll work about like, you know, I'd say like 40, 50% of the time. I would never run this in production, but there've been a lot of questions about uh, running local models, uh, local agents. So I wanted to make a quick video about that. So what we'll do is uh, we're gonna create our agents uh, with the Llama. We'll have completely local tools, completely local knowledge, completely local memory, meaning there is absolutely no information being sent out. Uh, you don't need an API key. That's the key design over here. No API key needed for anything. And then we'll test it out in the agent UI. All right, so uh, let's get started. The code for uh, these local agents is in the FireData repo. So fork and clone the repository and then head over to Cookbooks Playground and it's going to be in the Olama agents file. Uh, so the readme over here is the part which we are going to be running today. All right, so let's get started. So first of all, uh, clone the repo, open, up, open it up in the code editor of your choice, FireData, Cookbooks, Playground, and then go to the readme file which first has the open AI agents. Uh, we're gonna skip that, and then we're gonna go to the fully local Llama agents piece. Uh, so the first thing which we need to do is we need to pull our model, Llama 3.2 we'll use today. I'm not gonna lie, I've, uh, I've f found uh, 3.1 to be a little better, but you know, it's just vibes right now. Uh, then install the libraries. Uh, of course, first create your Python virtual environment. I'll skip that piece. Uh, I covered it in almost every video, so. We're going to straight jump into installing the libraries. I've already installed them, so this video can be a little quicker. Uh, then we'll authenticate our application with fidata.com. This is just to let Fidata know that, hey, we're going to be serving uh, our agents at this particular server. That's it. There's no information being sent out. Fidata stores no records, uh, logs, no sessions, unless you set this as true. Okay. Next, what we'll do is uh, we are going to run our local Olama agents, which are defined in this file. I'm going to talk through them in a minute, but the key part here is the serve playground app, which is going to be serving this file, Olama agents, this application app, which is a fast API server, and it's going to be serving it on port 7777. So let's kick that off. And uh, before we do that, I've also exported five debug as true because I really want to see the debug logs behind the scenes. Okay, now let's start it. So uh, this is starting. Um, it's going to say, uh, go to the playground on this URL, which we are here. It'll connect to localhost 7777. It's going to show a green dot because it's able to connect and we'll be able to see our agents over here. These agents are defined here. You can go to the FireData documentation and uh, pretty much build any agent which you want to put over here. There's a lot of like documentation which we're continuously improving as well. Uh, and you can serve using this UI. All right, so let's play around with it. So the first is the web agent. Uh, let me ask something very simple. And then I'm also going to show you how to break it because as I said, 30, 40, maybe 50% of the times. Okay. So I'm going to be, tell me about the U.S. elections. And uh, when I ask the question, it should technically run the DuckDuckGo search, which it did. Gave me a pretty decent answer. Not bad at all. I'm very happy with it. Um, then let's test out the finance agent. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just do a little bit of tester. I'm going to be very honest. It works like 30 to 50% of the times. Uh, break it all you want. The key part which I want to show here is that all of this information that's happening, the models that are running, the storage, the knowledge is fully local. So FireData connects to this local endpoint. So FireData logs nothing unless you set log sessions are true, which we keep default by uh, off by default. All right. Now let's ask the finance agent. Uh, tell me, okay, summarize analyst recommendations for Tesla. Uh, I like this uh, type of question normally. Okay, so it wasn't able to run. Let's see why that's happening. So it ran this. It got nothing for some reason. Is it because we're not giving it the right tool? Uh, no, it's it's there. Okay, let's start with something simpler then. Uh, show me Tesla stock price. 
this. Okay, it's uh, it looks like it's just not getting it from the room. Okay, we're gonna come back to this again. This is a raw video. I'm not planning anything. Uh, what I really like is this tool, a uh, YouTube video tool. You take a video and we can be summarize this video for me. It'll get the captions, uh, get the data, and uh, and then summarize that video for us. Um, okay. Now I'm gonna do another one, which is break this video into sections. So it runs the get uh, YouTube captions tool. This is the one I'm more important and it'll get the captions and then um, write them up. Okay, perfect. Uh, there's not a... Something happened. Okay. Again, uh, the key point of this video is how do you connect local models with local storage to the uh, agent UI? I am um, completely honest about uh, this piece. I'm not really sure what's going on, and I'm gonna like skip over the past where we figure out uh, whether this answer is right or not. What I really want to know is why isn't the finance agent working? Um, show me. Uh, okay fundamentals for nvidia what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it the exact ticker so it's able to maybe do it better this time okay this time it was able to run the run the tool just fine all right but again this is an 8 billion parameter model so also with the file debug as true you can see the system prompt that's going behind the scenes all right let's have a look at the agents yeah so the agents which we have uh they defined a regular Python agent. You give it a name, you give it a role. Uh, a new setting which I kind of like add here is the add name to instructions. Normally we don't add the agent name, but in this one we actually are providing the name. Um, if you look at the system prop, it'll be like your name is finance agent. This is simply because uh, there's like three example questions which we give on uh, the playground and uh, they'll normally fail. The agent can't answer those. So it, can, it just starts to call. If I ask, okay, what's your special skill? It'll make a tool call for it, which isn't really that useful. Um, and then over here, if we see that we give it the regular instruction, then we give it a set of common instructions, uh, where if the, if the user asks about your skills, tell them that your name and role, and only run the tools when necessary. This is an important piece because it starts to run tools, uh, you know, when it doesn't need to. So if I ask, tell me about yourself, without that instruction, it'll just, it still runs the get company info tool. So, um, so you know, not, not something which I put in a user facing application. You see, if I ask, tell me about yourself, it ran the DuckDuckGo search tool, which it shouldn't have. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, show tool calls as true, and then let's see what happens. Tell me about yourself, and let's see what tool it ran and it'll run information about web agent. So it definitely always tries to run the tool when we give it tools. Okay, uh, the, another key point over here is uh, we add history to messages, meaning when we're having this uh, conversation, uh, let's open it up on the terminal actually so we can see um, what was my last question it'll automatically add the user and assistant response from the last time. So it'll, like if we see the system message this time, it's the system message and then we automatically add, tell me about yourself and then I ran this tool call, could not find function to call. Um, it was calling the wrong function, then it ran DuckDuckGo search, then it got the answer. And then this is what was my last question. Um, then it ran DuckDuckGo search again. got something and it did not give a great answer to this question okay so here we have it folks i'll link the i'll link the code to the cookbook and um let me know how it goes if you get them to work better uh, hit me up if you have any feedback please do let us know and hope you have a great weekend bye